While honoring the 12th anniversary of September 11th on Wednesday, there is a story you may not have heard about. That's right, Willie. It's about an inspiring group of military vets and wounded warriors who completed a very special mission. I'm Anthony Ratatick. I'm a veteran, and I never quit. I'm Bo Richenbeck, and I never quit. I'm Sean Alotti. I'm the founder and creator of the Never Quit Challenge, and I never quit, and neither do the men or women on board. Never quit. These words are at the core of every serviceman and woman, past and present. And this September 11th, those words rang truer than ever. Twelve years after the attacks on the World Trade Center, a magnetic energy and a feeling of victory fills the air of New York City. This fleet of jet skis barreling up the East Coast are ridden by proud military veterans and wounded warriors who are bringing with them hope, resilience, and patriotism. These men and women are part of six teams that have journeyed from Key West, Florida to New York City in an effort to honor the fallen and raise money and awareness for three veterans' charities. Their six-day, 1,600-mile mission is aptly titled the Never Quit Challenge. Sean Aladio is a civilian military instructor and the creator of the Never Quit Challenge. Since 9-11, with the war effort that coincided in the aftermath of the terrorist attacks, there's a, a new generation of veterans that are combat wounded. We have PTSD, we have families in need. And so there's a, we have you know, to take care of this generation. And so that awareness just doesn't end with the war effort. It actually begins. Through this mission alone, they've raised $55,000 for charity. One of the writers, Anthony Ratatick, is an Army veteran who served in Iraq and Afghanistan. In 2004, he was paralyzed in a military accident. This one really motivated me to push myself harder and further than I've ever been pushed. It was on the edge. It was a good feeling. It was, it was, uh, it was like being back in the days in the military. So you got to push forward. You always have to push forward. Bo Rickenback is a Navy SEAL, losing both of his legs in Afghanistan when he stepped on an IED last year. When, when I found out that I was, both my legs were gone, it was, uh, I wasn't really worried about myself so much as worried about my son and, you know, wanting, you know, am I going to be able to do these uh, things like, you know, run with him, to play catch with him, do anything with him. And uh, it took me a while to realize that uh, I'll be able to do all those things. For him, the Never Quit Challenge has been a source of inspiration, and he says this journey is much bigger than him. Well, when I was in pain and to keep me myself going, I, uh, you, I just think about my brothers that have fallen and uh, how they can't be here to do, do this. You know, they'd, they'd love to be doing something like this and, and doing it for their families and their loved ones. And, and uh, that, with that motivation, I would never quit. For these veterans, that's what it's all about remembering their fallen brothers and sisters while looking toward the future and the hope each new day brings. When you're feeling a little down about yourself or wow. something like that, you think about this. Wow. And it's an inspiration. Yeah, Never quit. You showed great some message. of those charities on there. There are other ones that got to help these yeah. guys. Wounded Warrior Project, IAVA, mm -hmm. Operation Mend. If you can and you're able, help these guys 